Hey everyone, Chris McMonagle here from LMI Technologies. I frequently have customers ask me, what is the difference between our Gokator laser profilers and a snapshot sensor? Both are very powerful for inline inspection applications, but how do we go about choosing one over the other? Now from a high level, the key differences between a snapshot and laser profiler come down to whether your 3D surface scanning is gonna be done in motion or statically. A laser profiler requires motion to generate a 3D surface, while a snapshot sensor requires a sensor and the scan target to be stationary during data acquisition. By scanning in motion, we have faster scan times and overall process efficiency. The scan target can continue on to the next stage of the manufacturing process while the data is captured and processed at high speeds. Typically objects are moving under a laser profiler on a conveyor or high precision linear stage as part of a greater automated system. Using an encoder of the known travel speed, we stack profiles in the travel direction to create a full 3D surface that will be used to measure the object and communicate the results directly from the gocator to downstream systems. For snapshot sensors, there is a benefit to scanning statically since we don't need a conveyor or motion control system to generate a full 3D image, which in turn can reduce system complexity and overall system costs. This does however come at the expense of speed, but is very effective when you want to just point and capture a 3D image, uh, most of the time by mounting these to the end of robots. Our laser profiler lineup is our most diverse with over 30 different sensor models having fields of view options ranging from 10 millimeters all the way up to two meters. Our snapshot sensors cover four different models and range from 13 millimeters to 250 millimeters in size. Typically, the object size and sensor resolution capabilities define which sensor model you end up choosing for your application. All gocators are factory calibrated, ruggedized with an IP67 rating, and immune to changes in factory lighting conditions. They're also embedded with an onboard firmware that enables you to scan, measure, and output results through a single smart device. If you're familiar with our web interface, this will look the same to you no matter which sensor type you're using, whether it's a G2 or G3 sensor. If you have further questions or would like to test which method will work best for your application, please feel free to reach out to us at lmi3d.com.